Hello and welcome to a hack. Yeah. So I kind of got picked by the bug when I played a hack uh, yesterday, and I I just thought I like this so much. I should just play it on a hack. So I'm not sure how I really want to do things, cause. I was thinking maybe I should do similar to my series what's all to talk about and like try try some hacks see if they're worth going further into uh, and maybe I'll play a full maybe I'll just play it once because uh, you know a lot of hacks you know you know you never really know what you're gonna get into so I chose this hack Mario's return because I felt like it was appropriate a little bit. And it's pretty highly rated, and it has a bit long. So if it uh, if if this strikes my fancy, I'm gonna uh, you know continue continue playing it. Oh, if it doesn't, that's fine too. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. I quickly tested the game, so I know the beginning here. Anyway, welcome to my return. A new region of dinosaur land has been discovered. Is that a you? I don't know. Go and explore and almost create Yoshi who moved there. Moved? That is a V. It looks like a USB. <laughs> okay, that's... Whatever. <coughs> yeah. Um, Yoshi's Fortress. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna link this in the description. Uh, I'm not sure if I should do that for every single episode, but I'm, you know, I want to link to the hex I play at least once. Uh, anyway, hey, I was taking out this castle, but then the lights went out, and then I was trapped in this stone. A little help here? Not sure if the hacker is uh, speaks English as the first language. Something feels a little off. Hold by to run. Hold right next to some objects to carry them, to set them down, and hold. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, I mean, it's nice when hacks uh, <clears throat> give you tutorials, you know, some some players maybe haven't played Mario in a while and you're like, oh, there's, there's this whole hacking thing, there's whole, whole custom levels, that sounds fun. I'm gonna jump back in, but I kind of forgot how to play, so I guess it's nice. Uh, also, I chose this hack because its uh, difficulty was pretty pretty medium sized, uh, pretty medium sized, I don't know, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Uh, medium difficulty anyway um, uh, and you know because <laughs> I, I played Yump 2 uh, which was a very difficult thing for my little test uh, well very difficult it was difficult it was you know challenging uh, I wanted a little something easier because for me it's been a while to have played Mario obviously I played well oh, hello there I played a uh, played the old Mario Maker, so I have some experience with uh, Mario World a little bit for, you know, have it not completely, you know, forgotten how it feels, uh, but, uh, you know, it is also a different, uh, I start, uh, a different feeling um, to Mario Maker, the physics and the buttons, for example, uh, interesting thing, you know, I said before I'm using a, a, an actual, well not an actual SNES controller, but a, an 8-bit dough controller, uh, whatever you call it. Um, oh, we got a boss. Whoops. Uh, are you? There you are. Oh, I shouldn't be picking this up yet. Probably gonna disappear. Um, no, okay. It, it lasts for a while, longer than I thought. Um, yeah, but because I'm using a, a controller that's very similar to an SNES controller for the first time uh, for me, because I've never used one before. Um, the buttons are kind of interesting because the A button and the, and the B button don't feel like the way they're supposed to be. Uh, the spin jump is, is is A, I think. Kind of forgot what it is now. Uh, uh, and. Yeah, I think I think it was A normally. Well, I know. 
He's falling into our trap. Get him, man. I just hope he doesn't press Y to run and make it to that pirate in that direction. <laughs> Whatever. So it's kind of cute and fun here. That's a little fun little gag. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, the, the, the A button is normally the spin jump button, and the B button is normally the jump button. Which feels odd to me, so... It, hopefully it's not a crime to change them around in the settings, because that's what I did. And I'm gonna justify it. Uh, as we just first. You can't go through that hole up ahead, but enemies and carried items can. Okay. Um... Like, yeah? I see. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna justify doing this because Nintendo themselves realized that having the spin jump button uh, as the B button or whatever, uh, or A button, I don't know, um, on the Switch, on Mario Maker, was kind of weird, and they changed it to be the, the R and L buttons, uh, which in a weird way, I kind of prefer, because it means I can more easily, like, it doesn't mean I have to, like, change my finger placement, because if I have to spin jump, I have to kind of change my finger finger, finger placement. I can just press the, the L and R button like that, like, it's kind of nice. I still have to, you know, because I have to use the L and R button for, whoa, 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 whoa okay, didn't know that was gonna be like that, okay. First death. Um... What's it saying? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. <laughs> Forgot that was happening. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Yeah, skip this. Uh, skip. Because, um, what the hell was I saying? Good lord. Um, this is going great. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, basically, I just, you know. Justifying it because of that. Oh, I didn't take it that whatever. I'm not gonna go for dragon coins or whatnot. If I get if I see them, I guess I'll get them. Is that a small one? I didn't pay attention. I guess there was. Uh so lives maybe a thing, because yeah, this doesn't have infinite lives or nothing, so uh gotta be careful a little bit. Okay, gonna remember hold the button to go high and long down. But yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I was saying that I changed because the L and R button are camera changes. I can't really use them for. Uh, oh, you just gonna bus. Oh yeah. Okay, so pressing down is kind of kind of a thing because the D pad. So it's something I'm used to. Well, it would seem my fortress has been destroyed. I might as well travel with you. Anyway, good to see you again. How do you get here? Are you trapped? What do you know? Uh, but yeah. It's just, uh, you know. I just have to use the B button now, which is normally the jump button to spin. That's... I pref prefer the way the SNES controller is laid out to have the jump button as A. It's maybe weird to some, maybe it's not, uh, but that's what I like. I mean, the thing is, you know, Technically, it should be B because uh, the jump button on pretty much every game on on Xbox and PS on PlayStation you now use the X button as jump, and that's the bottom button as B is. So it makes sense. However, for some reason, the way it's laid out, it feels better to me. It's, it's, oh yeah, and I forgot that. I, yeah, you don't press the. <laughs> Because of my Omega, I have some muscle memory, and I was I tried to press the the R button to jump off Yoshi. I think that's how you jump off Yoshi in that game, but it's not in this game. You jump off Yoshi with the spin jump, which is the spin jump in. Oh god, oh, this is tricky. Um, yeah, you jump off with the spin jump, but it's not the same button. It's the it's the A button in on this NES, or what I'm using as the B button. It's confusing, you should not worry about it, it's just, you know, it is uh, slightly different than I'm used to playing 
Biomega, which is the closest I've been playing. So there's a secret exit. Uh -huh. uh, let's. I guess I'll go that. So I don't know how long. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting this? Um. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna go for these videos. Um. How long I feel like. Uh, if I feel like I've wasted a lot of time, I guess I'll just stop eventually. Like, like if I feel like a level is taking taking a lot of time and I don't want to do another one. I don't know. So I'm not sure where this secret exit could be. I wasn't really didn't even know there was one, so I wasn't really looking for something. But it could be in a lot of places. Um, yeah. So for this game, uh, it's pretty. Oh, oh, didn't want to do that. Um, you know, it's a uh, you know just a nice little hack. It's uh, simple so far, but has some neat little ideas. You know, uh, it's not a you know a crazy. Uses a lot of uh, ASM. Uses a lot of uh, custom graphics. I mean, it has some you know, but uh, it's you know trying to be you know a pretty nice little little thing. Nothing too special. A little, a little return to form. You know, there's uh, definitely a lot of different kinds of hacks you can do. Ah, uh, yeah. It's... Oh. Okay, I, I don't think there's anything over there. It's a little hard to not press up or down sometimes with this controller. I'm gonna have to get real used to that. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah. It's, you know, just a little return to form and... Oh, my timer's kind of... Yeah, I can't really deal with it over here. Not sure if I have to get all those dragon coins or how you wanna... Oh, maybe it's up there. Oh, here's a key. Not sure if I can get Yoshi up here, but... Well, that's the secret exit. I have to bang Yoshi to get it. Secret one, intro. What? Okay. This level is primarily the same as the level on the tile screen, though some parts of it have been edited to improve playability. Okay, that's fun. Saw that a little bit. I wasn't paying too much attention to it, so it's still gonna be kinda blind for me. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm about to <laughs> die because of live situation. Let's see if it ever saved the game. That's the kinda also a thing I have to worry about, because sometimes hacks are not super designed to be played without using save states and whatnot, and I want to try to do it as much as I can without save states, but I think I'm probably going to have to, otherwise I'm going to have to replay a lot of levels, so yeah, anyway, it's dark, uh, yeah, thank you. So it is, you know, trying to teach you. So yeah, the thing about Hex in, in a simplistic style reminiscent of the original Mario World, where it was not, you know, this fancy, crazy weird thing you couldn't do into the normal game, you know? Uh, I guess I should be trying to get these as much as I can for 1-up. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to having to actually probably buy 1-ups in Goddammit Mario because of my Mega. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, that, that is that... That is the kind of people who like uh, the regular style of Mario World, and then those that want to experience Kaizo levels with Super hard, and there's uh, some, some that want to experience something. Okay, this is a situation. Um, yeah, I don't know how I was gonna get through that. Maybe I should have used fire against them. That would be a good idea. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of different kinds of games you can make. Uh, okay. Duck jumping. Feels a little awkward with this controller again. Is it ducked up? Oh, okay, I'm supposed to do something here. Okay, I'm supposed to raise that. Okay, throw it again, please. Can you throw it again? Or kick it, I guess. What do Koopas do to shells? Do they kick them or throw them or what do they do? It's kind of abstract, I guess. I don't know. Maybe just. Oh, yeah, this is. <gasps> yeah, good old charging chuck. Kinda one of the more tricky and to do it a little bit, at least early game. I don't know, maybe it's just me. It's also, also an enemy that doesn't appear often in Mario games. Oh, oh hello. I didn't jump there, I feel. 
But, yeah, so these are like kind of weird. Oh boy. Got all springy things. Got all peas. Always oh, well. An awkward situation. Oh god, yeah. I got free lives, so I'm not that bad off. Let's see the level. Yeah, yeah, should we try to get the call post here? There we go. Shooting Liza thing. I don't know how hard it's gonna be, but I only have three lives right now, so I kinda gotta, you know, make sure I don't die super much. So I don't think they've given me a save. Uh, so that's a thing. So what a level? What do you say? Yeah, so these tutorials. I mean, hey, if you haven't played a Mario game in a while, sure, but. I still have that must win. We still know what's going on. I you know watch videos, so yeah. I think I should maybe try to get these dragon coins just to get the one up. Cause don't want to have to replay the game. Okay, this is yeah. This is definitely harder than the original my world already. That's pretty clear. Hi there. Um. It's not like super hard yet, I think. That's what I kind of was hoping for. Uh, some difficulty, I want some challenge. I don't want to, you know, just breeze through it necessarily. But I'm also not in the mood <laughs> for anything super difficult, you know. So we're getting coins too when I can. Because I need them. Need them, uh. them lives. Can't afford to play the game again at this point. Played like a lot of levels now. Okay, this is. Yeah. Yeah, these guys. Yeah. Mm. Always very annoying. I'm, not, I'm sure you can get through that somehow, but. Uh, just gonna walk across this. I wanna go high up if I can help it. But swimming is faster than walking. Uh, is that guy gonna catch me? No. Gotta remember. How all things attack in this game, you know. All right, one more coin to get one up. I feel like it's worth to try sometimes. This one is easy enough. Thank you for the midpoint. Uh, am I supposed to go up this pipe? Seems to be more stuff over there, though. No, nope, that's just a pipe. Maybe you come out of it. It's quite possible. Oh, my time was getting low. Yeah, this game is. Uh, there's some time of things going on, huh? You don't want to run around too much, huh? The time is going to get you. But it was also pretty short, seemingly. Oh, good. So it changed him to blue bus fish. I feel like I missed a coin. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe just later on. If I don't get the dragon coin, so we get a right up into that. Oh, there it is. Got both. Cool. Yeah, so it is totally possible to read the level without the time of running out. Just gotta, you know, pay attention to it, not run around making things, stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, so there's a lot of levels in the first world, so hopefully it saves at the castle. Let's see you know, how it works in the original game. I'm thinking this is pretty similar to the original. Uh, hi. When I hit the other box, even though it's probably not gonna be anything relevant. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's the same text as the original game. I think it's different. I don't quite remember what the text is like in the original, but... Oh, uh, so we're doing this again. So some similar themes going on in these levels. I mean, it's nice to have some consistency in your game. Uh, and you know, it is... The original Mario World, you know, uh, the levels were themed around the world, mostly. Well, how do you... I mean... Not some of them went really, but they like like the last uh yeah, so just here. Um You know in the first world the first two levels kinda of similar, but then that's the water level. Uh sort of water level and the castle and the in the, the, the Swiss Palace were all different. 
I mean, yeah, that's some variety. It's not, you know, the total size of the world being so small. You know, it, uh, it's not like it mattered that it was super different or super similar. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm saying, but, you know, it's fine to have some uh, similarities. Mysterious castle. That level was like nothing, like it just kind of happened. If a red or green Koopa falls... Okay, yeah, it's just the same with you always know. Oh, we got a lot of spikes there, huh? Good old falling spikes. Always get caught by them. So another thing about uh, the the eight bit though, eight bit do, eight bit whatever it's called. I don't know. The, the controller. What's going on with this? How do I get past you? Oh, okay, you move. I thought it was weird you didn't move, but it just took a while. Um, yeah, another thing about it, it is a different chair controller than what I'm used to. You know, modern controllers have that little handle thing always. You know. To to put them in in your in your palm of your hand, uh, you know, as an ES controller doesn't, making making it a little bit kind of weird and I wouldn't say uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable, but it is something I gotta get used to uh, a little bit. Um, you know, it's actually a pretty you know it's a good controller. You know, the <laughs> SNES controller I know was all, always known for being a good controller. Uh, certainly. If this is close to the SNES controller, it is a good controller. Uh, I don't know how close it feels to an original one, considering I haven't used one. Um, but if you told me this was an SNES controller and I didn't know any better, I would, you know, um, I believe you. So that's the first world. Hopefully, I'm gonna get a save here because that'd be nice. Got five lives again. You know, it's not like I was super fearing dying, but I did, you know, good. I think I got down to one life at some point, didn't I? I don't know. Anyway, thank you. Iggy Koopa has been defeated. What has happened? Has Bowser already found this peaceful land? Mario sets out to defeat him once again and return harmony to this place. It really feels like uh, Nintendo made this somehow. Like, it feels like. I'm pretty sure this is different. But it feels like it could be, you know, just how Super Mario World was in some way. Well, maybe it's a little more difficult than the start in it, the original. But, yeah, oh, what is this? Looks like uh, graves, but just Harmony Island. Feels odd. So, in some way, I kind of want to stop now. Maybe I should have. Like, I forbid the world. Feels like a good way to stop. This is a secret exit spell too. Watch out! I'm always popping out where you least expect them. Oh. You think they just, yeah. That's what I thought. Well. Harmony Island, huh? More like... Maybe it's psychotic. Yeah. Got a Yosh. Yosh time. It's a weird mix of... Obviously this is not. Uh, not, not, obviously now those enemies would not appear in. Uh, oh, oh, well, I want to get up there. I think it comes back, right? Does do. Kind of just whatever. Yoshi is like superpower, so whatever. Okay, um, can I wanna not make it go into the wall? There we go. I think you want me to use this here, maybe. No. What? No. Um. Okay. Um, I can't take. Yeah, I can't take. Can't take a key or anything. Maybe with Yoshi. So. I guess I'll just be the level, level normally right now. Um. Yeah. But you know. I mean, these guys were not. Even, these guys were you know from Yoshi's Island too, weren't they? Wait. They were not in a game before. I don't think. Those old bird guys. Ravens or whatever they call. Uh, where am I going? Not here. Uh, down? Okay. Can't really see. It's a little scary. Uh, 
Wait, I suppose. Feels like I can't go further down. Maybe I can. I guess I'm taking a leap of faith. Jeez. I don't know if there's gonna be a pit or anything. But I think that isn't, so. Still is scary though. Not seeing. Oh, well. Okay, he's gone. Dang it. I mean, I like the different kinds of level so far. Even if it is nothing super fancy, you know. It's, you know, just the final game. Uh, that was pretty short, uh, so the the long the long exit list I saw, which was like I don't know, eighty or something. It's a bit long, um, you know. Uh, well, hey. uh, it's a uh, how would you say? Uh, well, not too bad, you know. I already beat a world in but was it? 25 minutes? Dang it, that's a fish. Uh, power up, no? Eesh. There we go. Lots of you around. You always scam me with those baseballs or whatever. Yeah, always wow. Well. One of my least favorites to deal with. Uh, oh, that was kinda maybe a bad idea, but I made it out. I don't know what a uh, secret exit is at all. Uh, but whatever. Thank you. No. <laughs> Keep doing that. Water and getting out of water and all that is always a thing for me in these games. Let's see if we can get a high one. Because I need those lives. 40's alright. Now we can get 50 and get like a 1-up or something. A 3-up or something, I don't know. But yeah. Gonna do the bonuses. Bonus scheme situation. Oh no. Wait, didn't I get... 100? Uh, wait, what? Did I read that wrong somehow? I guess I must have. Oh, okay. How much did I... 74. I thought I was at 74 and I got 40? Maybe I am misunderstanding. My I guess my brain farted or something, I don't know. So, hmm, it's possible. Stop falling. It's possible that the secret exit isn't. Oh, maybe I just for that though. I was like thinking maybe it's in this area because they have this here. Like, like maybe it's up here. Oh, it is up there. Okay. Well, that's nice. That's an easy. So, how does this happen? Cut. No, Yoshi, I need you. I think. So. Oh, okay. Here we go. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> very helpful. Very helpful. Those clouds were sad, that's unfortunate. Okay, I think I'm gonna do the yellow switch piles and that's gonna be it. Uh, this looks identical, maybe? Is this the same as the original? Oh, I cried. It's very similar. Yeah, this is always a good place to get one ups. Half eight now, I'm feeling pretty okay with one ups. So that was nothing. I thought it was going to be a little more of a thing. Yeah, this is very much reminiscent of the original. But also, it does feel, you know, like a hack. It feels like it's trying new things, doing new things, you know, has new graphics. Uh, we just had music that wasn't the original, but that's okay too. It's, you know, I think that's what they're going for. Uh, you know, um, a similar feel, but slightly different. Like. It also feels like this. This is kinda inspired by the original map, maybe a little bit, but also different. Yeah, I don't know, but no, well, maybe not. Like, I was looking here, and I was like, oh, this is like, yeah, this world and kind of the forest world, but not really. And and I thought this was kind of a little bit like the second world. 
forget what it's called now. I don't have the <laughs> name to memorize, but it's also this. Like, where, where does this go? Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna continue this game. Um, so, I've already, you know, thought about doing a seaside project, you know. Uh, I recently played Final Fantasy VII and I was like, I was kind of thinking, should I do a seaside? And like maybe, maybe uh, a D side for this as well. Like, that's how I want to handle that. Because the games, the two games, you know, I want to play, you know, back to back each day, you know. Uh, well, you know, right now those were, you know, Donkey Kong 64 and Pet. And, uh, and, you know, those are switch between. So that's something I want to keep doing. But then I want to make a C slot where I can, like, where it's like one game, second game, third game, one game, second game, third game, and so on. Uh, but now I also have Mario Hex that I don't know where I want to put in in that situation. Do I want to do them occasionally? Do I want to do it as a D slot? I don't. I feel like I feel like that's a like only playing a game every four game four days uh in the way i do would be weird in some way i can manage changing between three games you know uh, i can remember the controls and everything from two games and i think three games should be okay but having four games it's gonna get a whole messy situation and i'm gonna forget a bunch of things and what i'm doing and i don't know maybe maybe not don't know how i'm gonna handle this but for now um I am, I'm liking coming back to Mario Hacks. It's been a while since I played them on the channel. You know, I did it. What is it? Must be six years ago, seven years ago is when I. That's why I like stopped kind of making videos, and then, then I started two years ago making videos again almost. Uh, so yeah. Uh, um, it's been a while since I don't even know when I stopped actually it's been so long I forgot but you know I made videos all the way back in in you know 2010 and earlier even like since I was freaking 13 or 14 like even earlier than that I think I started when I was 11 maybe I was a, I was a kid I was a kid not knowing what the hell I was doing it was bad I tried to emulate you know the people I watched the, the rage uh, let's play as the the edgy let's play as it, it was an awkward mess and it, <laughs> uh, you know I'm still an awkward mess but man looking back at those videos which you know now I deleted uh, but you know I had I had uh, some I think I still up somewhere somehow I don't know but don't go looking for them um it's not worth it uh, unless you want to see cringe uh, it uh, I definitely feel like in the years since I've understood that that's not something I want to do for videos. I just want to play the game, have a good time, you know, see what happens, just have some fun. So yeah, uh, and returning to Mario Hacks, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna you know I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna have some fun. Play some hacks, see what happens. Alright, uh, that's it. See you next time.